。Hello everyone! 今年も早速志望校合格という喜びの声を続々といただいています。インタートーマスは4技能の強化と合わせて受験につながる英語も指導します。そのために独自のメソッドと課題管理で量を追求するサービスを提供しています。今後の合格速報もお楽しみに。Go for it! Hello everyone, welcome back to PR2. Today we will discuss the question whether or not life can jump between planets a little further. Let's begin right away. Panspermia becomes more plausible when planets or moons are located near other planets or moons. For this reason, scientists are excited about a solar system called Trappist 1, which is located 39 light years away from Earth. In this system, seven Earth sized planets are packed within an area that is 20 times smaller than the distance between Earth and Mars. Such a tight grouping would increase the likelihood of panspermia several thousand times over the likelihood of life passing between Earth and Mars. Three of the planets in the Trappist 1 grouping lie within the habitable zone where life is most likely to occur. The remaining four are temperate, which means that they may be warm enough to support life if they have the proper internal temperatures and atmospheric conditions. In a single planetary system like Trappist 1, the interchange of bacterial life is almost inevitable, says Chandra Vikraman Sihe of the University of Buckingham. Skeptics cite an obvious paradox that casts doubt on panspermia. The challenges organisms would have to endure would weed out all but the toughest of, of organisms. This process of natural selection would lead to the creation of superorganisms that should be able to thrive almost anywhere. However, researchers have not found any evidence that such organisms exist within our own solar system. So, that would be all for this topic, and see you next time. Bye bye!